All right, good morning. We are uh, talking about differential calculus. This is our next topic. So in this topic, we have got uh, to first understand uh, the word limit, because in our first part, we are going to talk about limits. So let me write here, we are talking now about a limit. We have to understand it. So here I have my two pillars here that I have shown. So I have a rubber band and I have to stretch it between the two pillars. Do you think this small rubber band will be able to cover the whole distance? Obvious? No. Otherwise, if I continue to take it up to there, I will break it. So let me say from this uh, pillar, my rubber band, when it is just stretched, it gets here. I mark this point. Let it, let it be point A. And now, I am saying the distance here from the first pillar to the other pillar, I'm going to mark it, this is a one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, and uh, this is seven. Yes, in the pillar we have seven. So look at this, I'm trying to place my uh, string here. Yes, it is two uh, units. Now, if I pull this pillar towards the other distance, let us say the distance of the, the, the length of the string here is two units. Now, the distance between the end of the string and the other pillar, let us call it H. And what I am saying is you must re realize that the distance H, as I pull my string, the distance h is getting smaller, smaller, because for now the distance h is smaller by one unit, smaller by one unit, smaller by one unit. So in fact, the, the, the distance h at this point is now two units. It is getting to one unit, one, half a unit. If I continue to pull, I, I'm afraid I'm breaking it, but the point is, the distance, that is the value of h, is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I am approaching 7. Hey. So, in fact, as the value of h is approaching 0, what is the string approaching? It is approaching 7. So, you see, that is what I am trying to put across here. I am saying the limit. It means the limit of the stretching of uh, the stretch this uh, rubber band. So the limit, as the limit, the limit becomes the surface in that case. In fact, the value of H is approaching zero. Fine. And it, in fact, I think you understand this part of the limit. I just wanted to say the limit is very important in the topic that we are going to look at. So in this case, we'll be looking at a, a, a function graph. Let us talk about the graph like this. And in differential calculus, we are mainly looking at gradient. So the moment I talk about gradient, um, I am saying, let's go back to our grade 11 material. Uh, we can't calculate the gradient on a curve because it changes. So we are saying, uh, the gradient of a curve is not the same. It is different. The gradient at point A and the gradient at point B, they are different gradients. Let me shift my point A and put it here. So because you know, if we are going to find, to draw a line that joins A to B, you see this line that is approximating the gradient is, is, is too far from the line. So what is happening is if we put this point closer, we move it closer, this becomes our new B. The B1 comes here. Do you see this distance? It means the line is a better approximation of our gradient. But if we move it closer, it becomes even better. Closer. It becomes, this is now B2. Closer, it becomes B B, 
P3, th this distance now, if we draw a line, we are almost following the curve. So in fact, at this point, now this is the point which may give a good idea of the gradient. In fact, we will say the gradient it is closer to the correct gradient. So how do we find this gradient? We can say, okay, at A, we have the value of X here, but X was shifting by a value. If we were taking B, it was a very big value, H. Now we want, we reduced the value of H, we brought it here. We further brought it to this point. So this is the point X plus H. In fact, the distance from this line to this line, this is the distance H that we are talking about. So we are saying this is X, we shifted by H, the H became smaller. And this point is now X plus H. So what is the X, the, 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 the Y value here? It is F of X. What is the Y value here? It's F of X plus H. Now what are we going to do? We are saying, let us find the gradient now. And the gradient becomes the change in Y over the change in X. So what does it mean? It means now we are saying uh, the gradient becomes the change in Y. So it's F of X plus H. This is the new value of Y. Subtract the first value of Y. And then we are saying everything over the change in X the value of x is x plus h and then we are subtracting h so this is the gradient but look at it like this if this is the gradient we are saying uh, this can be reduced to f of x plus h minus f of x and then we are dividing this by let's simplify the denominator there if we simplify the denominator, it becomes H. You can see when we remove these brackets, X and minus X will give zero. We are remaining with X, H there. So we are saying the value of H is not known, but what is happening with the value of H? It is becoming smaller and smaller. So the point is, as it is coming smaller and smaller, it will estimate a better a gradient. It means it will give us a better estimate of the gradient of the curve. So the point is we are going to say uh, we are talking about the limit as the value of H is approaching zero. You remember the, the value of H was getting to zero. Of the F of X plus H the change in Y over the change in x, so the change in x is just f. So this is our value for dy over dx. So this formula is a formula that you need to remember. Fortunately, it is also provided in our formula sheet. And now, what does it mean? It means we can use it to find the gradient. When we are given a, 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 a question, we can find this the gradient using this one. Let us consider a question where they say, uh, find the gradient from first principles. If they do not say from first principles, I will introduce to you the other method. For now, we want a question where it is saying from first principle. So here is a question where we will use from first principles. So I will have a question here, and I will say, if f of x is equal to x squared, then let us find f of, let us find the gradient. The gradient, we call it the first derivative. Yes, we are going to say, how do we find it? It's f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We proceed to say, um, 